Tax season is here, and with more people filing online than ever before, the risk for identity theft is even greater. News 4 Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno joins us now to reveal the steps that you can take right now to protect your money and your identity. Lauren. So, Mary, direct deposits could go out as early as this week for anyone who already filed their 2020 tax returns. But for those who usually put it off until the last minute, you might not want to do that this year. And here's why. According to the IRS, 80% of all Americans file their taxes online nowadays. So tax fraud has become a big issue. The agency identified $2.3 billion in tax fraud last year. Now, according to the Federal Trade Commission, more than 100,000 people reported either tax or employment-related identity theft last year. So with so many data breaches becoming so common, a scammer getting your Social Security number and filing on your behalf is really easier than ever. So you really have two options. The first, file your taxes before any scammers can. Just because you have until April 15th to do it, doesn't necessarily mean you should. The second is getting an identity protection pin or IP pin. This is not a new tool for the IRS, but the first time anyone can use it, not just someone who's already been an identity theft victim. So think of it as a two-factor authentication for filing your taxes. So to sign up for that, you're going to go to irs.gov backslash IPPIN. It's on your screen right now. After going through what the IRS calls a rigorous verification process, the taxpayer will receive six-digit code that is not to be shared with anyone and must be included when you file your taxes. So if you do sign up for the PIN, do not forget it. The IRS has electronic returns that do not contain the correct IP PIN will be rejected and paper returns will go through additional fraud verification. If you missed any of this, don't worry. We have this story on newsforjax.com. I'm Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.